What's going on, everyone? It's time to uh, talk about some interesting thriller. I don't even think I've talked about an M. Night Shyamalan film in this, but I actually kind of really find his stuff amusing. So, yeah, we're going to talk about one. Today we're going to talk about The So Bad It's Good, The Happening. A lot of people hate this movie. Uh, I've really enjoyed this movie for some reason. Um, yeah, if you're not sure, well, first, The Happening was re released by 20th Century Fox June 10th, 2008. And it stars Mark Wahlberg. Uh, and it's written, produced, and directed by M. Night Shyamalan. If, if you're not sure who that is, he's the one who's done, like, Unbreakable, The Sixth Sense, Split, and Glass, to name a few. He's done The Visit, Signs, oh, Old Pot Old, that just came out. Yeah, Old Pot of Others. This had a box office earnings of $163.4 million. So it was a modest success, but... Boy, is this film entertaining. Um, Mark Wahlberg's character is the lead character, and he, it, him and his girlfriend, well, first off, he's a science teacher in a high school talking about bees in the beginning, and, uh, yeah, where he gets pulled out of class, and they learn of, uh, there's, like, a terrorist-type attack or something that they're not sure in Central Park in New York, which is where they are. And, uh, yeah, so they have to let the school out because in the opening scene, people are just randomly dying and construction workers are falling off buildings and, uh, yeah, people are killing themselves and they're not sure what's going on. So then they, Mark Wahlberg and his girlfriend and his co-worker who is played by John Leguizamo or whatever his name is, uh, yeah, uh, decide to leave on a train and head out of state to somewhere else uh, and where it doesn't seem to be happening and slowly and surely all this crazy stuff starts happening and they're not sure what's going on so it's uh, basically a hop in the car and leave and try to survive type movie and uh, it's pretty entertaining because seeing how they just quickly change and stuff it's much like the coronavirus going around you either have it or you don't <laughs> and uh yeah it's kind of weird and relatable somehow anyways um yeah so as this as they progress through the story they come to learn and theorize that the plants are the ones emanating this toxin that's causing us to do it as a defense mechanism oh sorry i just spoiled the whole movie oh well and uh yeah yeah so and then it's up to the them and this group of people that are filled with idiots that they're trying to um get away from and how to cope with it and move on and uh, yeah it's kind of weird because it kind of starts and just dissipates and then it go and then of course sequel bait um Paris gets hit with it. Oh yeah, uh, the happening is an amusing, so bad it's good film. You get a lot of um, cheesy moments in it. You have Mark Wahlberg acting like a cardboard cutout for half the film, and with his like really, it's not his best performance, but it's definitely not his worst performance. Um, yeah, the acting is okay. The cinematography is pretty good in this. I like how it was shot. And, um, yeah, uh, this is definitely just one of those cheesy ones where it's just, uh, something you could laugh at, make fun of, and it, I don't know, I watch it, like, a couple times a year, so, yeah, I kind of enjoy this movie for how simple it is and how they take something so generic and, uh, standard that we don't really think of and put it in a hazardous situation no matter how ridiculous this sounds and it's somewhat like i said earlier this is somewhat relatable now to uh the pandemic sort of style it's sort of the same sort of thing if you think about it and um yeah yeah i thought it's well put together and who would have thought 10 years after the film's made we are in a pandemic that does somewhat the same sort of thing <laughs> and uh yeah, it was a good watch. It's entertaining. I like it, uh, but it's by no means anything perfect. You're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. So I'm going to give this one a 3 out of 5. The acting's not the greatest, but it's definitely not the worst. And uh, there's way worse stuff than this out there. So yeah, The Happening is a good cheesy popcorn flick. If you want something that 
to rot your brain with. There you go. Um, yeah, there's a trailer link down below. If you forgot that this film exists or you, for some reason you never heard of it, it's linked down below. Also, my Instagram is always linked down below. There's clips of them I'm going to view in the future on my story. So make sure you follow me there. That's where I post the uh, film title of the film and a hashtag and the subgenre of film and a hashtag so you're aware of it. Also, make sure you check out my letterbox that's linked down below at Derek P. Reviews. That's where I post my first star rating right after watching the films. Yeah, so follow me on one of those two to stay in the loop. Like this video, share some more people aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. And uh, if you have any other films that, or whatever that you want to hear my opinions on, comment those down below. I'll try to get them as soon as I can, and if I can find them. And make sure you subscribe because, um, yeah, I think I'm going to be checking out uh, some... I'm going to find some weird film on Shutter to review for my next review. So, yeah, make sure you subscribe so you're there for that. And maybe we can find something weird, obscure, and odd or interesting <laughs> together. And also, and also so you hear my opinions on popular films because apparently 99% of the time it's totally different than everyone else's. Anyways... Yeah, make sure you subscribe and yeah, watch out for all those killer plants out there that are always trying to get to us. And I guess I'll see you all in the next review. So yeah, it's going to be some weird off shot, I guarantee you that. But yeah, see you then. Cheers.